Thank you. This is a wonderful homecoming. Thank you very much. Thank you. So t time, is, uh, time is precious tonight, and we want lots of it to hear from our guests. So I'm not going to start by telling you what school he went to in Arkansas. I'm going to tell you he was the governor of Arkansas, president of the United States. Uh, he presided over the longest uninterrupted period of economic growth in recent memory in the United States of America, paid $600 billion down on the debt with four consecutive balanced budgets, something that we haven't seen since, reformed uh, the welfare system, signed NAFTA, uh, and found time to work on peace in Bosnia, the Middle East, and Ireland. Uh, since he's been president, he's been even busier in his post-presidency with the Clinton Global Initiative and the Clinton Foundation, working all over the world on environmental causes, the cause of peace, uh, health solutions around the world, uh, taking uh, all of that magnificent energy and creativity uh, to the entire cause of the world. So ladies and gentlemen, we have with, with us today not only a past president of the United States of America, but truly the closest thing to a president of the planet it's possible to have, the 42nd president of the United States of America, the Honorable Bill Clinton. Now, now bef be before the president gets up to speak, we have a surprise, and you might even say it's a gift. Uh, president Clinton, from uh, a long, long time, not recent, but a long time, has been a huge friend of Haiti. Uh, and more latterly, he's been appointed as the Special Envoy of the United Nations, doing magnificent work in Haiti. Uh, he's there constantly, he's formed extraordinary relationships, and now the new McKenna Leadership Center and Cody and St. of X, together with uh, community leaders in Haiti, are coming together to create programming so that we, in fact, can contribute from here to the development of leadership skills in that country. And as a surprise to the president, we have two of the greatest friends of the president in Haiti, and two exemplary community leaders here today, Maurice Kadar and Claire Pierre. Please. So what we will be doing here is using all of the resources of the university and its extraordinary track record of international leadership and training. Uh, we will be uh, providing leadership on everything from microfinancing uh, to women in leadership, uh, community development skills, all of the skills that have been part of the skill mix at this university for a long time. And the president has made the very, very constructive suggestion today that with the new government taking formation in Haiti as well, that we should add that to our efforts, uh, the whole idea of bringing leadership skills and training uh, to people who are going to be part of this new government. So many uh, lives lost in the, uh, in the great earthquakes uh, that ended up resulting in the destruction of a lot of the public service. So we have a chance right here in this little community in Nova Scotia to bring a large measure of leadership uh, to a country that desperately needs it. Thank you. <laughs> 